that's what we are going to talk about i'll give you a full clarity a full disclosure around what are the things that coinbase actually asks which is going to be actually assessing your behavioral and a few technical skills here and there so the online coding test of coinbase is not similar to the online coding test of other companies and the second question is dependent on the first so you have to have to solve the first question and all the things that you have written in the first question will be used in the second question so this unlocking strategy is a very interesting thing with coinbase and you generally get approximately 90 minutes to solve these questions the last question i was able to partially complete because I was not having much time left. I was technically asked to actually code kind of like a banking system. You can very easily find this question on lead code discuss section in Coinbase tags. The second online MCQ test also happens for L4 role as well. Expected that I will give a complete running solution that I was able to give end to end. So this was kind of like a fairly simple round. I would rate this round as easy. The only problem was that I was not able to complete the final runner part of the code, kind of like a machine coding round. So there was an expectation that I will give a final running code as well that was kind of like missing so that actually got reflected in the final feedback as well the remaining services are not burdened with recomputing all of that what kind of database choices we are going to take how exactly we are going to divide the services all together how fresh data we are going to actually serve the user so if you're somebody who is going to have an interview process scheduled with coinbase and you are actually looking for resources from where you can actually prepare for the interview process you can actually understand how the difficulty of the interviews are what is the overall procedure looking like? What set of questions Coinbase actually asks for software engineering position? Then you are actually on the right video. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about what is the expectation that you can have if you are going to get Coinbase software engineering rounds scheduled. Now, interestingly, on this channel already, I have posted a couple of videos where I have talked about Coinbase interview process. But this time, there's going to be a couple of more important things. Why? Because on both of the earlier videos, I actually interviewed Coinbase for an L4 software engineer role. This time, I actually got an opportunity to interview Coinbase for an L5 software engineer, or I would say senior software engineer role. So there are a few things here and there that actually gets changed for an L5 process at Coinbase. So that's what we are going to talk about. I'll give you a full clarity, a full disclosure around what are the things that Coinbase actually asks. So without any further ado, let's just start. But before starting the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing to the channel because we are going to put some really awesome content coming up ahead. So let's just start. So before talking about each and every individual round, I'll help you to understand what is the complete interview process for an L5 senior software engineer role looks like. So technically Coinbase L5 interviews are very much similar to Coinbase L4 interviews with one more round added and a few extra expectations in each round. So the, how the interview process is like for L5 is there is going to be two coding tests. I would say there is one coding test and there is one online MCQ assignment. So I'm just saying two online tests. So in uh, there is one coding test that is going to be an algorithmic coding test. There is going to be a second online MCQ based test, which is going to be actually assessing your behavioral and a few technical skills here and there. After that, if you clear both of these, then there is going to be two problem solving rounds and then one system design round. Post that there will be a hiring manager round or that's mostly a simple discussion with your hiring manager. So that's how the overall interview process is actually looking like. The two problem solving round, Coinbase actually refers them to as domain round and tech round, right? So that's technically problem solving. I'll help you deep dive around what is the expectation there. So that's the complete process of Coinbase in a nutshell actually looks like. Now let's go deep dive in every single round. What's the expectation and what are the things that gets changed from L4 to L5 in Coinbase? So now before you actually go into the full interview loop of Coinbase, you have to actually go through an online coding test. Now I've already talked about the online coding test format of Coinbase already earlier in my videos, but I'll just give you a quick brief here as well. So the online coding test of Coinbase is not similar to the online coding test of other companies. Yes, you have to solve algorithmic problems here also. But in Coinbase, what happens is that you have four questions. The three questions, the last three questions are technically not unlocked. You only have the first question unlocked. Until or unless you solve the first question, you won't be able to see the second question. And the second question is dependent on the first. So you have to have to solve the first question and all the things that you have written in the first question will be used in the second question. Then once you have solved the second question, then that unlocks the third question and everything that you have written in the first and the second question will be used actually in the third question because there will be some expectation change here and there and so on similar thing happens with the fourth question as well that first you complete the first three questions then the fourth one unlocks so this unlocking strategy is a very interesting thing with coinbase and you generally get approximately 90 minutes to solve these questions now if you are giving an l4 round then the expectation is that you solve at least two questions fully 
and then third questions if you are able to even solve partially that's good so technically every question is 250 marks so if you score anything around 50 500 or plus and to be in a safe range if you are able to score 600 then that's technically uh, going to make sure that you clear the coding test part but for an l5 role my recruiter mentioned to me that i have to solve the three questions first three questions so definitely have to solve and if i'm able to partially solve the fourth question that is going to actually make my case stronger so i scored approximately somewhere around 850 i was able to solve the first three questions completely and the last question i was able to partially complete because i was not having much time left i was technically asked to actually code kind of like a banking system you can very easily find this question on lead code discuss section in coinbase tags right but uh, this was the expectation it's a very lengthy uh, question it's not very algorithmically challenging but you have to manage your code very well you have to manage the data structures very well because again unlocking new questions make sure that earlier things that you have done in the previous questions are also changed accordingly so you need to keep your code pretty much extendable and you need to be extremely extremely fast after this uh, coding test you can actually attempt an mcq test which is very similar to amazon's mcq test also they just test a few i would say apt questions and a few behavioral questions here and there so once you uh, i believe if you score decently in the second one and if you are able to score something beyond 750 in the first one you are going to get uh, into the full interview loop the second online mcq test also happens for l4 role as well so now uh, the problem solving one round of coinbase um, was i would say one of the easier rounds in the complete interview loop why because uh, in this round i was asked a very very simple dsa question and then eventually that dsa question uh, got converted to a low level design kind of like an implementation interestingly i already had seen this question on lead code discuss so i was kind of like prepared for this particular question so the design patterns that were involved was mostly the iterator pattern and very easily i was able to solve this particular round i was expected that i will give a complete running solution that i was able to give end to end right so this was kind of like a fairly simple round i would rate this round as easy if you have good dsa grasp and you know the basic lnd and machine coding principle now problem solving two round was something that where things started to become kind of like interesting so in problem solving two round the expectation is again similar that you will be given a problem and that problem will be having some simple algorithmic aspect to it and eventually it will get converted to kind of like a machine coding implementation so i was actually given a problem where you have let's say a set of transactions you have to make a filter based on pagination that was the problem expectation altogether now in this particular round um, i actually coded the implementation very well right and uh, very interesting design patterns we were actually able to discuss so we actually discussed a lot of interesting design patterns also for the solution to make the filtration criteria much more extendable to write so i used the criteria design pattern and i was able to make all of the inter uh, all of the set of classes the only problem was that uh, i was not able to complete the final runner part of the co uh, code because again it was a very lengthy code that i actually prepared and within one hour i was not able to kind of like manage my time well there so the overall class and everything was looking good but during the final runner implementation i was actually out of time this was also because of the fact that during those one hours i have to i had to discuss a lot of things with the interviewer as well and there was a lot of cross questions that were technically coming up because what i feel is that the criteria design pattern is not something which is very much known to a lot of people so to explain exactly how the things can be very much improved with criteria pattern in case of implementation of an and based filter on or based filter and clubbing multiple filters was something that was new to the interviewer as well what i felt and uh, because of this because of this i was not able to kind of like have the final lap where my runner implementation can also get completed but overall i believe the overall feedback of the round was positive but definitely there was a negative that because it, it was a machine coding round kind of like a machine coding round so there was an expectation that i will give a final running code as well that was kind of like missing so that actually got reflected in the final feedback as well which we will talk about later but yes this was the second problem solving round which they referred as a domain round also now the next round was a high level design round and i was actually expected to design a crypto dashboard which can actually do live price tracking from some crypto exchange so this was kind of like a more structured round we actually went through the functional non-functional requirements and we started actually discussing things with an actual crypto dashboard that coinbase also maintains a, a very interesting set of problems were actually discussed uh, more emphasis was done on the fact that let's say if we are actually uh, doing some computation how we can make sure that 
uh, we are doing it as early as possible in the process so that the remaining services are not burdened with recomputing all of that what kind of database choices we are going to take how exactly we are going to divide the services all together how fresh data we are going to actually serve the user these were some really interesting points that we actually discussed on i believe this was one of the most in-depth system design discussion that I actually had. I had a, I would say, good neutral feeling that things went good. It could have been definitely better, but I had a good feeling that uh, the, I would say the feedback is going to be neutral to positive, right? Interesting thing that actually happened in this particular round was that uh, this online dashboard was something that the interviewer also had actually worked on. So they had some really interesting insights around how exactly things will be or can be improved in production. Uh, we had a really good discussion on what are the alternatives that apart from their own implementation that they do at Coinbase are possible. So it was definitely one of the most in-depth discussions that I had for high level design technically as of now. So after all of the rounds, uh, around after two days, I was actually informed by the recruiter that for an L5 role, uh, my profile has been technically rejected. So it was a no hire call from them. This was mainly coming because of the fact that in the domain round, I was not able to produce the final runner part of the code. That was kind of like the majority of the reason because they have a set criteria on which they actually take people. Coinbase is one of those companies which is very picky. They are going to have, like, even if you just do one thing wrong, they are probably going to reject you. And then in the high level design round as well, one of the feedbacks was the fact that the interviewer was guiding a lot of things in the interview and they were kind of like driving the interview. Instead, they expected me to actually drive the interview more. So that was kind of like one more feedback that I actually had and technically this was the third time that I was actually interviewing with Coinbase and this time I actually was rejected but I also know the fact that with L5 role or if it's a senior software engineer role your chance to actually make mistakes like the moment you start making one or two mistakes also that reduces the chance of your being of you being hired a lot so for an L5 role what I learned from this interview is that you have to be like 100 on 100 on point for L3 or L4 roles even if you make a mistake uh, here and there it is sometimes acceptable but for L5 the bar is extremely high so I believe maybe uh, sometime later I will be able to definitely get more opportunities from Coinbase but this time I was definitely uh, getting a no higher call. So I hope the overall uh, discussion actually made uh, sense to you and you were able to get some really insightful information from this. I'm planning to make a more dedicated video around the low level design problem and uh, I would say high level design problem separately so that we can have a more deeper aspect and a more deeper understanding on what was the expectation on those particular rounds from me. That being said, let's wrap this particular video here. We are going to meet soon in the next set of videos. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. I'm Sanket Singh, signing off.